Hi Church family, if you haven't already heard, it is with a heavy heart that I share with you the passing of Bev Chapman, one of our beloved members. Fred is doing okay, but please keep him and his family and Bev's extended family in prayer as they both grieve and celebrate her life. Bev was a blessing to all of us and that's how she wanted to be remembered, as a blessing. I admit it's hard to know how to cope in times like these. We've already experienced so much grief and a lot of us weren't able to say goodbye to Bev in the way that we wanted to. You know, we were robbed of months of hugs and smiles and Bev saying when we say, hey, it's good to see you, her saying, it's good to be seen. But I'm thankful for all the time that we did have together and we can cherish that. It's good to remember that there are many stages of grief. There's denial and depression, bargaining, anger, and acceptance. And they don't work in a linear path. Even in the course of a day, we might experience a little bit of all of that. Also, it's normal for a death in the church family to bring up feelings that we have around loss of other people who we love deeply in our lives. As we go through the grieving process, it's totally okay to pour out our grief and our sadness and our anger, but also to laugh and celebrate and share stories of the best times that we had with people who have passed. It may also be comforting for us to know that Bev is still with us in some way, in the Christian church, we talk about the cloud of witnesses, which is that collection of saints that continues to be a part of us even after they've passed from this life. And it's not strange for us to encounter folks who have passed in a dream or recognize them in a beam of sunlight that reminds us of their light spirit or to sense their presence with us. It's not even weird or out there to talk to folks either in the silence or even out loud and share with them what you want them to know and what you loved about them and what you appreciated about them. It may feel weird, but if that feels healing and if it's a way to, for you to connect with someone who's gone, then by all means do. That cloud of witnesses that now includes Bev is a part of the unbreakable, whole, complete body of Christ. And as a part of that cloud of witnesses, she will always be with us. In the words of John O'Donohue, let us not just look to Bev from the distance of memory, where we would grow lonely without her. She would want us to find her in presence, beside us when beauty brightens, when kindness glows and echoes eternal tones. May Bev and all those who've passed who were so deeply loved by us Continue to inspire us to live each day with a generous heart, to serve the call of courage and love until we see their beautiful faces again in the land in which there is no more separation. Amen.